Miss Mikey 1000 and today I have my mom with me and guess what if you see me again we got what did we get mom? Moon. We got Timu anyway. Uh, I wasn't expecting this one I'm sorry I hope I didn't just cover the mic. Um, yeah so I wasn't expecting this one uh, until probably tomorrow but it came today so we are here today. <laughs> so we're going to open this up and see what we got. Okay, guys. So let's open this up. I already cut it open, so it make life a little bit easier for everybody. Oh, it's a box. It's a box. Here we got a box. There They're you go. using boxes more. Well, probably because people complaining, you know, that things are broken and stuff. I don't know. We just got lucky, I think, on some of these boxes. If you want to know the truth, I don't know what's in here. <laughs> I don't know what I... Oh, I know what this might be. Okay, let's see. We'll see. All right. Yeah, sometimes when they put you in stuff like this, you can't remember what it is because, you know. Okay, this is a large... Com collapsible white um, container. I'm going to use this for my closet. Oh, oh, I'm going to use this one for my closet. I thought this would be good. I have um, those plastic, the, the, well, they're not really plastic. What do they call them? Vine those bins? Yeah, the bins. Those bins, yeah. They're not, um, they fall. They're too flimsy. The ones you get at Dollar Tree and you get them at Walmart. Well, I have a bunch of those and I'm tired of them. Because all they do is flap down after a while. And you can't get your stuff or your stuff starts falling out of them. And I just don't like them. They're crap. Oh, poppies. They're poppies. I heard that this morning. You heard poppies this morning? I didn't do no poppies this morning. That must have been in your head. No. no, I knew you were crazy. No, you're crazy. Why? This is satisfying. Isn't this satisfying, guys? This is satisfying. Okay, so, anyways, I figured, well, this would be great because if I didn't need it or whatever, I could just um, take it apart. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm in seventh heaven now. Ooh. <laughs> so it just goes in like this oh, very simple clear yeah isn't that cute yeah and then it's got a lid to go on top what have you got to put in that i told you what i was going to put in it no you didn't yes i did because oh. you asked me before i don't remember i have stuff in there it's personal <laughs> oh yes so anyways, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put and if I like this, I might get me another one and put my jeans in it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to get this on here better. I think it, ha it has to be on a certain way. And if it's not sitting right, it won't go on. Ah. Come on. See, and then these things are supposed to see it's not sitting all the way. Oops. Break it. No, didn't break it. Just you gotta make sure maybe maybe they're not in there right. And then you gotta put this on top. Come on. That's probably why they they make sure that they put these in a box so they don't get bent. Yeah. And, um, that, that could be. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the top's not going on, right? Should go on, it's not. I thought maybe I might have it the wrong way. I don't know. So these are got to be out so far. Anyways, I'm not going to fuss with it too long, guys. But, um, 
to get that side. I can't get the other side. And so when you get it down, oh, there you go. I got it. Then you put these latches here. Where I got that side anyways. This one went back up. <laughs> mm. Frustration plus. Yeah. Very. Oh, that hurt. It really snaps in there. Okay, there you go. So you got to just play with it to get it on. And then you can open it up just like that. And this is going to be perfect for what I want it for. So, and I can put all my stuff in there. I can open this drawer. I don't need to take the top off. And if I want to get another one, I can stack it on top if I want. And if I don't want to use it, I can collapse it and put it away. Yep. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I think this will be handy. Handy dandy. So, there we go. I paid $14.90 for that. I think it's good quality, don't you? I put it on her lap. She can deal, deal with it. What do you think? Well, yeah, you got it back together all right. That's good. Yeah. It would have been awful if they couldn't have put it to back together. Well, right? it's a collapsible thing. That's why. I, uh, it's heavy. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's got a nice size capacity. Mm-hmm. So I think you'll do fine with that. Yep. And I'll see if I like it. And I might need another one. And I might stack it on top. Their closet's always a mess. Closets are a pain. They look great for a while. And then they always seem to get messy. Okay. So the next thing I got is for the eyeglasses. This is a, and it's a jewelry washer. But you put your eyeglasses in it and clean your eyeglasses. So, it comes in this color, it comes in white, and then it comes in the pink. I got pink. Of course you did. Yeah. So, I got the pink one. <coughs> this was $10.19. Got little doobies on the bottom the suction down on your counter and you got your little lid here USB cord and it gives you some directions so I'll put this together and um, I wonder oh it's on it's working there's the light so we'll we'll try this out and I'll put it at the end of this video so we'll do that Cool beans. Isn't that neat? Then you stick your glasses in here with water and it's supposed to, it's supposed to clean them. Hmm. Which is nice because not just the lenses get dirty. You got to remember you put your hands all over these all day long, all the time. All the bacteria that's getting on the side of these. Yeah. On my hair, everywhere, yeah. you know. So I thought this would be really cool. We're not, I'm not the only one that has glasses. You have glasses and have. Shea Bear has glasses. So, um, yeah. And you can also use this for cleaning your jewelry. Yeah. So if you have rings or anything you want to clean, we can put them in here. you don't realize how dirt, dirty it gets. No, you don't. No. Mm -mm. No. I mean, you always clean your lenses because you know you can see them. But, um, no. So I thought that would be a cool idea. Yep. Yeah. Nice plastic. Seems sturdy. Yeah. So we'll t show this at the end of the video. I'll show you that too. Um, but I'm not going to show you my closet because it's not yeah, done. Yeah, you wouldn't want to see it. <laughs> but I think that's going to help where, where I want it. Okay. The next thing I got is, is, is this what I think it is? Or is it? Yeah, this is. Okay. This is an outfit. It's a jumpsuit. Oh, wow. They're coming back. Good. I used to have a jumpsuit. It was it was white. Remember my white one? No. You don't remember the white one I had at the motel? I remember the 
It was white. It a was one pink piece. One. No, I didn't have a pink one. I always had a white one. I only had one. And it's a jumpsuit. It was white. And I wore it with high heels, like spike heels. That was back in the day when I could wear them. <laughs> and I didn't even wear them that well then. <laughs> they hurt. And I used to wear spike white white shoes with it. Well, I don't remember that. You do not remember it had the net in the front? The what? Net, kind of netting. No, I don't. And then behind it was white jumpsuit. Anyways, they're coming back. So I saw this one. I liked it. It was pretty. This is supposed, it, it's supposed to be yellow, but it's beige. This is purely I like, beige. I like beige better in here. I wanted the yellow one because I wanted something different. So this is a jumpsuit. Isn't it cute? And it's got little cuffs down here. So that'll look nice. It's got a hood. Got a hood on it for fashion mostly. It is short sleeved, so I should be cool in it. And it has buttons. Buttons up. This was sixteen forty eight. Isn't that cute? Well it looks cute on. And I think it has pockets. Yes, it does. I'll put it on and show you guys at the end of the video. And there's pockets. I love pockets. Yes. I always yes. like pockets and everything. Even if I don't use them, I still like them. I put my hands in them and stuff, you know. Without pockets, I, I feel... Undressed. Yeah, I feel like they're messing. Something's messing. So that's cute, huh? Yeah. So I thought, you know, that'd be nice to wear whenever. Comfortable. Nice material. Um, let me see in here um, where it says... I had that white one a long time. I don't know why you don't remember it. I really don't. I wore it a lot. Probably did. Because I, then I was going to the bars and stuff. <laughs> that was party time. That's when we lived in Daytona. That was a party place. <laughs> so, I wore it the first time I went to get my first drink. And you don't remember that. Nope. Well, I really had my first drink with you guys. You guys took me to Orlando. Remember on my 18th birthday? Well, Iris and Daniel bought me your first drink. No, you guys did because we went to Orlando. Oh. And I had, we went down to, um, what do they call that place? The town? Oh. Um, What's that place called? Oh, well, I can't remember. Um something station wasn't it yeah yeah anyways it's a whole road is closed off and they have lots of bars and entertainment can can girls and some of the bars and all this stuff and they had all kinds of stuff down there it was really fun so i went we went there for dinner and um i had my first drink there then we have friends that stayed at the motel for many many years finally found it and they stay at the motel for many many years and they were like my second grandparents kind of um i was always sitting by the beach with them or when they come down and they stayed what a couple months yeah i think yeah. they did yeah they stayed in the winter yeah so um i would sit with them and i go swimming with them and hang out with them so they took me to a bar um, in Daytona, and it was a country bar, and it's no longer there. hasn't been there for years now, and it's a shame because that was a nice little bar, and it was, it was dressed up nicely, you know. It wasn't just a regular bar, and um, we went in there, and they were doing some kind of entertainment. They did live bands in there and stuff, so that was fun. Anyways, this is a 3 extra large, and it's 100% polyester. So, it doesn't feel like polyester, though, does oh. it? No. No, it doesn't. It must have different I don't know. quality of polyester. polyester. Yeah. Yeah, because it, to me, this feels like cotton. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. But I, I have yeah. stuff that's polyester that's shiny. And yeah. It, yeah, it does, does. And I don't like the shiny stuff. She don't mind it, but I don't, I'm not really into it too much and i don't know why everybody is complaining about all their stuff being wet 
I have bought many clothes from Timu, and my clothes have not been wet or moist or anything yet. The only thing I can think of is the polyester that they're talking about is the shiny stuff. I don't know. Shiny, you think that it, stuff gets it, moisture in it? I, I don't know. I felt it before. And it, to me, it seals cold, not wet. It seals cold. Uh-huh. And, and they think it's wet. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. None of my stuff has been wet. Uh, none. No. Okay, let's do a small thing here. Okay, this thing here, I bought this. Okay, I don't know if you guys can guess what it is. Bottle do you know it's not a bottle opener do you know what this is for do you know do you have an idea what might this be no no you don't that'll be a bottle opener. it kind of goes like this that's the way it goes no it's not a bottle now what's it for i don't know well this is a silicone laundry detergent cup you put this around the bottles that lay down yeah and you put it around and you can put your cup here yeah so it doesn't drip everywhere oh. it takes the drip away oh. so we have the one with um it's not for softener and it's on the side and it has a little cup so now i can put the little cup here and i can squeeze down and I don't have to try to hold the cup at the same time trying to squeeze the button. A, I have a hard time holding that and squeezing it. So you, when you put this around the bottle. Yeah. And then you just put your little cup here. Sorry, you guys. You put your little cup here. And then you can squeeze the thing and your hands are free. Oh. See? And it's got a little spongy. This is spongy here. So I think you can take this out, I'm sure, and wash it if it gets nasty. You know from the soap or whatever just rinse it off and clean it up and you can stick it in there now i you, i only got one because we really only need it for the softener um it depends what kind of bottles i get for um that has to snap in there i got it snapped in now um for it for the detergent but these are handy I so this is 248 that's what i paid for you yeah. and then when you don't want to use it you just put it up but these are supposed to snap better than that i think i just don't have it in all the way so there there you go so hopefully that'll work we'll try it out okay next thing i got was well you know that we all got um, Shea Bear and I got new cameras, so um, they're action cameras, so um, I wanted to get a little case. I have a big case that I can take with me, but if, let's say we went hiking. I want to go hiking, and I just want to take something small. I can put my GoPro in there, my camera, and I put it in there, and then I can zip it up and i can put it on my purse i can put it on my belt loop i can put it on my backpack if i'm going hiking so this is why i got this it gives you a little beanie that's what you call them right beaners whatever they're called i don't know what they're called and you put it on the hoop and then you can hook it up to your pants you can hook it up to anything you want and that's why i got it for and it's nice and hard plastic, so it kind of protects it. It's waterproof, so if it's raining. But, you know, these action cameras are waterproof anyways, but it, it's an extra thing. And I wanted this just for certain times. I don't want to take a big case and um, go hiking with that or something. You know, it's too big. But this will work for that. Okay. I paid two fifty four dollars for that. Okay, now we're getting into the good stuff there. Okay, this I got for my neck. I stay in pain. Now, most of you know that I had surgery and they put 
two plates in, in the back of my back here, but they go through the front. So I stay in pain with my neck and my arms. So I can put a heating pad on there, which is hard because I have to hold it. It's a pain in the butt. So this is for your neck. It gives you, that's the piece that you're going to put around your neck. It gives you a cord. And this is your controllers here. And um, this goes inside um, this little pouch right here. That goes in there. So, and it also gives you directions here. So, there's your directions. And I'll put it on in the back at the end of this video. And I'll show you how it works completely. Um, so if you're interested in it, but that's the way it looks on the front there. See, it goes like that. So I put it around my neck like this. Ouch. And just zip it up. And it's heat pad, heat pad to help my neck. So I thought I'd try it and see what it was like. And this, you know, you hook up right here. And then you have to hook the other piece up to, you can put a power bank or you can use whatever and plug it in. So I might use your power bank and test it out and see how it works. Okay. So anyways, I got that. It was $10 and 19 cents. You think it'll work? I don't know. It should. I thought maybe it'd give me some dang relief at night or something. I could maybe, wear it. Maybe if you had something to rub on your neck and then put that on. Uh, I don't know. It's irritating. And, and especially at night, it goes down both sides of my shoulders and all the way down my arms. So I have a lot of problems. So this, I hope, helps. So, okay. On to the next one. All right. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Let me see. My mother will love this. Okay, so I got this. And I have another one coming. And I'm like, why did I get two? And I don't know why. But the other one's plain. This is a little bit more fancier. Cuter. So, um, this is what they call these. This is a colorful flash, plastic, they call it a plastic, what do they call it, call it, um, let me see if I can find it. It's called a colorful flash A6 plastic six hole loose leaf notepad. So I have to write things down and I need to write things down more and more. Yeah, me too. So... Because I take care of everybody's appointments for the doctor. So I get messed up sometimes. And I need to write things in here. So I got a little notepad. And it's got a little ruler. If you're interested in using the ruler for anything. And it's got all these little cute things. So it's kind of satisfying. <laughs> and you can jiggle it around when you're frustrated. And go, ah, these doctors are stupid. Yeah. So, I thought it was cute. Cute, huh? And it locks up like that. Let's hope the doctor doesn't see you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully there's no doctors. It's all got seashells in there. Isn't that cute? That was really cute. Isn't that neat? See him? Yeah. 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 Cute, That's huh? Cute. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways... I paid, well, it's $384 right now. I think that's what I paid to. Let me check here. You have to go to two different places on here. Yeah, $384 I paid for it. So I thought it was cute. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and you can buy the refills too. Yeah, yeah. So I can refill this up after I use these papers for whatever. I get phone calls or I have people I have to call. I got to write this down. I can't remember crap anymore. So I got that. Okay, another thing I got, 
is on my computer I am getting full and I have a lot of pictures on my computer and they're very important pictures that I don't really want to get rid of so I got this USB and I got this but you also can put in your SD cards and you can put your cards in here too so if you had something from your card you can put it in there so you put your SD card in here and put this in your computer and you can take your pictures off and you can have your SD cards so I thought I'd try this and see how well it worked and I think you can do the big ones and the little one on there this was a dollar 97 so I think that will work out pretty good so I got that okay another thing I saw this on somebody's channel and I can't remember who it was I'm sorry um, but I don't remember but I thought this was pretty cool this is to clean your what do you call them grates that are in the oven you know your silver grates. things yeah the grates you can take this if I can open it up I may have to cut it and um, you can open this up just like so and you can clean your grates and you go back and forth like this or you can rub it down on this side and this way and it cleans them it also gives you a little hook here and you got a little hard thing for things that are really hard on the grate and you can do that you could probably use this also for your barbecue yeah you could probably do that too so you had it so i paid 44 cents for this <laughs> big spender <laughs> but i think it will be handy yeah you know you always clean i have self-cleaning cleaning cleaning oven that's okay but not always get the grates clean no. so and i think you could use this on the glass and yeah. scrape on the glass a little bit if i want to after i i've cleaned it so i think that'll work out pretty cool so i thought that was a little good handy thing to have all right now these are repeats i've bought these before but these are a little different these are for the bathtub to catch your hair in you know for the shower and stuff we don't use the bathtub we just use the shower and um i always got to buy these because after a while they get gunky and mildewy on the bottom and i just throw them out and uh buy a new ones and we have to have them with our laundry yeah and it really helps it yeah, really helps yeah, really. i got a square one in there instead of a round one these ones are round but it ain't gonna matter so i paid a dollar 97 for those so not bad no nope, not bad at all so they're good to have because i i got one now and I, I just wanted to make sure i had some extra just in case okay and this is here because I'm having trouble with my arms, I saw this too with the same girl that had this one. So I don't remember her name. I really don't. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I thought this was handy too. And this is a little cleaning brush for your windows. And you know... I don't really wash my windows enough. I know mine is disgusting. And it needs they need to be done inside and out. Well, I'm not going to clean the outside of the house until I get my roof done. Hopefully, I'm going to get that done soon. Um, we are waiting for more approval, and I will know soon. Uh, at least they said I think six to eight weeks. I think it was. I don't know if I'm doing it. It has to go this way. So it clicks in like that for your handle. And then you put this in here. You can use this on your mirrors in your bathroom. That's where she used it. I don't know. My arms are really bad and it really hurts to try to put this in here. I might have to get shaver to do it all the way. Anyways, you put your Windex on there. 
go up and down like this on your window and then it's got a squeegee on the back so you can just go shoop, shoop, shoop. and i thought it would help my arm you know yeah and instead of trying to use the paper towels i thought maybe it might help a little bit so i can do this in the bathroom on the mirror i got it finally you, takes a little bit but i got it you say here mm -hmm. keep new ones no i don't think so no i think it's it's hatched it's just attached okay but you're only using it for your windows this is only for windows oh yeah you're not going to use it on your floor or anything like that this is just for your windows and it's got a little squeegee on the back. So I thought that would be cool to try to use. So I'll show it to you in the video at the end. I pay $5.98 for this. So the handle could have been a little bit longer for me. But I mean, I think it'll be fine for these windows, especially doing them on the inside. I could do this mid bay window here. It needs to be done on the inside and just go up and down. And then just flip it over. Choo, choo, choo. Be done. I think it'll work good. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's cool. I think. Oh, it's... I think. Oh, yeah. There is a brush in here too. You can brush things like. Um, you can use this around your faucets or your ledge for your window. Um, yeah. Trim around the window. Basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could do the trim around the window and clean it with that. So that's, I forgot about the brush. Yeah, and it, it goes right in there. So if you think that's a decoration, it's not. It's a brush in there. So that's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was neat. So I saw her do this. Now, she only used it for her bathroom windows, a mirror, for her mirror in the bathroom. But I think this will be great for the windows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because my windows ain't high, high. We get a lot of Green slime on them from the oak trees. Well, not on the side of the house, but they just get dirty and dusty from the inside. But the outside, yeah. I'll pressure wash the house after the roof is done. Because after the roof gets done, as long as I get approved for everything, um, I'm going to pressure wash the house and then paint. I'm going to paint the outside. That's my goal for this year to get done. So, this brush is not wanting to stay in there. It's stupid. It went in there just fine. Now I don't want to go back in. Drive me crazy. See, it wants to spread. I don't think it's the greatest brush, but I mean, for the price of it, you can't complain. And if you just use it for your bathroom, nothing else, it probably lasts a long time. Okay, I think I got it this time. There you go. Anyways, I thought I'd try that. Feels good. It's going to go under my hands. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You think you could clean your bedroom window? Then I wouldn't have to do it. You could do it. How am I going to get it? How am I going well, to you get it? sit in your bed and you can do it. Boop, boop, boop. What? Open up the window? Oh, you don't open up the window. You put Windex on the window, and then you put that on there. Oh, that was on the inside. Yeah, use it on the inside. It's the outside that needs it. Well, I'm not doing that until the roof is done, because I was just going to make a mess. Okay. I'm not going to do it twice. All right, so another thing I got were sheets. I got some bed sheets. I got bed sheets for my bed this time wanted to see what they were like now i think it was mimi's what was her name mimi's life the lady in texas she bought sheets she bragged about how nice they were and so i was like "Ooh, so let me try these Ooh, these are nice nice and soft i paid twenty dollars and 39 cents for them i don't think it's a much of a bargain really i how much twenty thirty nine it is the bargain. Most sheets are up to. In, in well, I'm thinking $30. at Walmart you can buy them for ten and fifteen bucks. <laughs> so um, these are the pillowcases. <laughs> nice and big. Yeah, they are nice. So um, you get two pillowcases. What you're coughing? And um, 
and you get a top and bottom. So, um, yeah. Drink your water. Oh, it's way over there. Um, here. If she doesn't have water, she'll start having a problem. So she has to drink water. So, um, yeah. So this is a fitted sheet, I think. Is this a fitted sheet right here? I think this is a fitted sheet. Looks like it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. So it feels very nice. Yeah, this is the fitted sheet. Here's the fitted part. Put around your corners. So that'll look nice. And I got it in beige because I wanted to check them out. Oh, these are nice. Cool. Yeah, I think they'll be great. I Yeah, paid $20.39 and you get the top, bottom, and you get two pillowcases for that. And most of the time... It you buy it in Walmart, you don't get the you don't get the top sheet. You just get the bottom. No, you have to buy them separate. Yeah. And aren't they like ten or twenty dollars or something? They're probably twenty or higher now. I haven't bought sheets from Walmart for a while. I used to. It used to be really nice sheets there, but then their prices were like gone up. So I found well, other places to go. I find J.C. Penny has beautiful sheets and towels. Yeah, but if you can afford them. Yeah, that's just it. You have to. You machine wash and warm, tumble dry, low heat, promptly remove from dryer, made in China, of course. Does not say on that <coughs> sticker. I don't know if there's another sticker of what kind of material this is, but I don't. It feels like cotton to me. Uh, that's what I was looking for is to see what it was. More water. <coughs> Sorry, guys. She can't help it. It's her problem. Part of her problem. I think she starts talking too much and it causes a problem, too. So she can just sit there. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. It doesn't say on this label. Of It just tells you what to do. So, um... So it's beige color, and it's a queen. That's what I got, was a queen. Um, let me see. I'm looking for it. Uh, oh, right now they're $18 <laughs> on sale. But they come in these colors right here, so you can see what colors there are. <coughs> and um, right now they're $18.78. They are supposed to be, like, hotel quality yeah mm -hmm. yeah i'm sorry i apologize <laughs> you should you're wearing my video <laughs> she's not it's not her fault and they're true to size they say so i think this will be just great for for my bed they probably fit really good yeah i think they'll be nice yep and if i really like them i'll get me some more so that's it, guys. That's what I got in this haul. I better drink. So, um, yeah, that's what we got in this haul. So, what was your favorite out of everything? Oh. What do you think? There was a lot there. Mm-hmm. I did pretty good. What was your favorite? Well, the, fit, the sheets fit. I like the sheets. They're nice and soft. Yeah. Yeah. I got your sheets. I got her waterproof sheets because she's incontinent. And um, they're great, but they're a little bit too big for that bed. Um, but I wasn't sure what size, and I just tuck it on there a well, little bit more. Well, it's a hospital bed, so it's kind of in between. Right. Size. So I was afraid of going to the smaller one and it not fitting. But um, I think I might have been able to. I don't know. But... They seem to work pretty good. They're, they're fine. They don't yeah. pop. They're, they're fine. They're comfy? Yeah, they're really nice and comfy. They're kind of squishy. Kind of. Yeah, they got a little padding, little padding in them. Yeah, it so, feels good. Yeah, so. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Monkey says she's out. What are you going to say, Mom? I don't say much of anything, do I? What are you going to say? Bye. We're all out for now. And... I'd like to thank all the people that uh, come and watch us and the people who have subscribed to us. And we have a great time doing this.
You have lots of fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do too. I enjoy doing this. Uh, but, and I get fun spending your money. <laughs> we won't go into that. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I was saying I'm out. She said bye. So I'll see you in the next one. I do have another one coming soon. Have we got the stuff yet? Huh? Have no, we... it's coming soon. Oh. <laughs> now you know what that word soon means. Well, I didn't think I was going to get this one today, so uh -oh. I did pretty good. Yeah. They're getting them a little bit faster, but um, I still have to wait a long time. Well, they're, do they're not just doing your package. They're doing hundreds <laughs> of thousands of packets. I know. I know. I don't know how they keep up with all these orders. I don't either. I don't know either. I mean, get it so nice and neat. In these bags is amazing. Yeah. So amazing nice i couldn't get anything that neat put in i mean there is a lot in that bag mm -hmm. all right so that. i'm going to say i'm out and i will put the demonstrate some of the stuff um at the end of this video so stay tuned bye y'all bye okay guys so there's uh the glass thing i'm going to open this up so you guys can see it there it goes. It's in there. I put my glasses in there. I got another pair on just in case so I can see. Now I'm just using plain water in this one. I mean, it depends on... Um, it is a little noisy. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to do 15 minutes on this. But it depends on how um, dirtier your stuff is and what you're putting in here so here's the top here it explains everything here and down here so like if you have glasses jewelry and stuff like that and what what you can put in there you can put all kinds of stuff in here so if you want to freeze this so you can read it that's up to you guys but we'll let this go for 15 minutes and we'll come back and check it out Okay, guys, so I just put the grate out so you can see this. But what you would do is just go back and forth like this with this. And it will take off all that stuff on here. And then you can also do it this way if you want. Or if you have like, oops, getting caught there. Or if you have something like kind of harsh, like right here, let's say. Or, you know, you can't, you could scrape it. Just scrape it like that. Yeah, you can do a little bit of this. But I liked how it goes back and forth. And you can use these like that. So, but I mean, I would use it after I um, used myself cleaning, up, cleaning it. And then I would use this on these. So that would work pretty good, I think. Cool beans. Okay, guys. So... I got this, and this is the kind of bottle we use um, for our softener. So I put the little cup here, and it just lay, it just sits there. It doesn't screw on or anything. Um, that's as far as it's going to go. And then you can push the button. Your hands are free, see? and you can do it that way. I have to open this up a little bit. Hopefully, there it goes. It's got air in it so there you go i don't want to do the whole thing but there you go so hopefully it'll keep it a little bit cleaner so it's not dripping everywhere because every time i take it off you always have some kind of drip going on and stuff like that so hopefully it'll work good all right so here we are in the bathroom okay we're going to do this mirror here spray it and you take this piece here and you just go up and down and just do that and you probably have a bigger mirror or whatever you have a real big one it would work really good for you know and just go down and up and down that's all you're going to do
I could probably use this in the car doing my, um, using it for the car for wi Windex on the windows and stuff. You know, it might work good there too. Yep. And we'll do the side one here. And we'll do it. I'll try to do it with this arm. It helps a little bit. So. Oh. And there we go. And we just do it like that. I mean, I usually use paper towels, and I just thought maybe, you know, this might work good. And I might not use it for the bathroom, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Oops. This little doodad keeps falling out of here. I don't know why. That's a little brush. You could use this brush here. And I'll bring it down just a slight so you can see. Um, let me see here. Uh, there we go. To around here. You could use this around here. And clean that and up here and stuff. You can use that. Or you can use the window ledges. And clean that with that. This is cute. I like how it's compact, but I don't like how it keeps falling out. And it shouldn't be doing that. So that's like once I got it out, it just doesn't seem to want to go back in. So I don't know why. So and it snaps for a little while and then it wants to come off. So, anyways, there you go. That's what that's for. Hopefully I will like it and maybe I get the thing back in so it stays in. I don't think it's snapping in right. It doesn't want to snap all the way and it should. It came out easy enough. So Oops, see it came right off. So I don't know. Maybe I get Shea Bear to see if he can put it back on for me. I might be doing something wrong or you know. Who knows? And you got to watch these bristles too. I'm trying to put that back in there. Because you don't want to say the bristles are coming out. Yeah. And I think that could be making it not go in all the way too. So I'll have to play with it some more. Okay. That's it for that one. Okay guys. So I plugged it in over here. I'm sitting down in the chair. So you put this around your neck. And what I did first, I put that little patch in there, and this smells good. It kind of smells like tea, tea bags, but it also smells like it has some menthol in it. So you put this little thing in here, and then you put it around your neck, and you just do this. So then it has a little thing here, and... Let's see what it does. Okay, it's on. And let's, let's see, that might be hottest. Oh, this is the temperature. That's cool. That's hot. Oh, and this has a timer. Okay, this is the timer on the top. So if you want to go, you know, a few minutes like 10, 15 minutes there, and it goes up, and if you want it on, the red is higher. Then the bottom part is your temperature, is your heat. So I'm assuming the red is the hot, and the green is the cool, and the orange is like your medium. So we'll see if it works. It might take a few minutes before I feel it, you know. I can, I can touch it, and I can feel a little bit of warmth there, but I'm not feeling it on the inside yet. So, oh yeah, I'm going to want to do something. I, I, I'm trying to choke myself here a little bit, so there, I loosened up. Oh yeah, I feel it coming slowly, but it's coming. So, oh yeah, I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and try this out. And we'll see how it works, huh, my... It's got a nice cord on it, nice long cord, so, um, yeah. 
and Bruno's gonna bark, of course. So anyways, no, no, you're not getting on my lap. I'm sitting here for a minute. I'm gonna let this warm up and I will come back. A little choked right here. Okay. Okay guys, I do feel it. It is coming on slowly, but I feel it. And if I was laying down, and like I said to her, if I used a power bank, I could take this camping and use that at nighttime while I'm camping if my neck is sore. And, um, you know, you do stuff all day. I mean, I have to live. I can't just sit and do nothing all the time, even though I do a lot of that. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I have to move around. We have to enjoy life. Life is short. So, um, yeah, so if I had my neck was hurting me, while we were gone, I could use the power bank and put it on my neck. That'd be nice. So it's very versatile, I think. I can put it beside my bed because I have a plug there. And I could turn it on while we're watching TV and put it on if my neck is sore. I think this might be a good thing. I mean, you know, I have a one of those jelly ones that you can use as a cold pack and a hot pack. And I've been using that. But the problem is it falls off. It just falls all over the place. Um, so it's not really doing the thing because I have to hold it and then and my arms are sore as it is. So at least now I can just leave it and be free. That might help a lot. So on days that are really, really, really bad, yeah, I think, think this might help. So anyways, on to the next one. There's the jumpsuit. There you go. Uh, I hope looks okay. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's comfortable. It's yeah, got pockets. I like the pockets. Yeah. The length ain't too bad. You know, hopefully you guys can see that. I can't balance with crap. And um, yeah, so it's good. I don't want the ones without the cuffs on the bottom because if you Notice a lot of them are really long and I don't want them dragging on the ground and I don't need to trip on them and stuff like that. So I kind of like the cuffs better. He's being bad over there. So there you go. And we'll go on to the next one. And so it's been a well past 15 minutes. I got busy. But um, yep. So there we go. I'm going to get a um, dish towel or a paper towel, I meant. Okay. And Shea Bear is going to be able to use this too. Like my mom can use this too. Yeah, I can put bolts in here. No, you're not putting bolts in here. These are for glasses. You just said I could use it. You can use it, but you're going to put your dirty glasses in there. Ay, ay, ay. Carburetor parts? No. Oh, that'd be excellent for that. So, then you just wipe off your glasses, whatever you want to do. I mean, I don't find the water's dirty, but my glasses might not be that dirty. I don't know. Take a look at through them. I'm wiping them off. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Nice and clean. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let me read. Okay, let's read something here and see. Yeah. Nice and clean. Very, very clear. Very nice. A lot better. So, there you go. These are the Timu glasses I bought. The ones that were in here, I got them on my face. And I bought these ones too from Timu. And I have had these almost, well, probably just over a year. And they work fine. They have not broken. The ones I buy at Dollar Tree, I'm lucky if they get through a month or two and they, the hands, hands break. Or if I drop, then the lens pop out. So, Shea Bear is making fun of me. The hands? Yes, the hands. The arms? Yes, the arms. What are you laughing at? Never mind. 
Anyways, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use this um, container for, for the closet, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back, and I filled up my cubby hole thing. I have my bathing suits and my bras in there, and I have a few shorts in there, and I have filled it. Believe me, I have no trouble filling. So, and then I can open up this door, just like so, and grab what I want. So, I have fully filled it. So, but there you go. I like it. I think it's going to work better than what I had. This is what I had. These dang things. And they collapse. I had to put it on its side because it was on a shelf, um, what we had in there. And um, it, it just gets weaker and just collapses and it's just messy. So I thought this might be a little bit nicer. So there you go, guys.